Hey guys and welcome back to a new video. Today I have with me the new Hyundai E30 N-Line and in this video I will make the full review interior exterior. I will try to show you every single feature interior space material quality and everything about this car you will find out until the end of this video also technical data and everything guys just stay with me if you are on the market for a family car you are a hyundai fan you like their price just stay with me guys anyway before we go forward just click the subscribe button to see all the new video that will come on my channel also if you want to see the test drive with the same car will come soon on the channel just click the subscribe button to see the notification when that video will come out before that i have to tell you that i'm here in switzerland at parisi automobile in gelafingen i will leave the link in the description also if you want to buy the car if you want to see the car test drive it check them out also tell them you see my video you will get a nice discount let me talk a little bit about the price first of all and then i will give you the technical data so you know which car we are driving today so the car that i have it with me is the version with 1.5 liter tgdi petrol engine with a seven speed automatic transmission dct and it's a mild hybrid system with a 48 volt battery but about that i will tell you later now the price of the car the normal price the basis price is 35,900 francs but if you add the extra metallic color and swiss package safety package 1000 the price will be 37,700 francs you will get you will receive from uh, parisi automobile also winter tires for free so that's awesome it's a nice bonus plus you will have another discount of 3500 francs so the final price will be 34200 francs a great price in my opinion for this car for what this car can offer at least it's a brand new car so yeah it's it's really really good in terms of price now let's go to the technical data let's go a little bit deep in the car and let's find out more about the car so as i said before the car come with a 1.5 liter petrol engine four cylinders in line also this engine is connected with a 48 volt battery and a small electric motor so it has that mild hybrid system so it helps the car consumption it to have a better co2 emission and overall it's a very good system it's a new system from hyundai and it, it's great now the engine produces 160 horsepower 253 newton meter it's a front wheel drive and it's connected with this seven speed automatic transmission DCT so that's something to keep in mind the fuel consumption combined in VLTP estimated it's 5.5 liter pretty good consumption the range of the car 909 kilometers the fuel tank capacity 50 liters also co2 emission in vltp 126 grams the top speed of the car 210 kilometers 0 to 108.4 seconds so pretty good not bad for a family wagon now the front brakes are ventilated brake discs they use ventilated brake discs on the front and brake discs on the rear also this model and line model come with 18 inch rims and they look lovely i mean i love the rims on the car you will see a little bit later normally it comes standard with 16 inch rims the turning radius of the car 10.6 meter also the front suspension independent mcpherson coil spring with anti-roll bar the rear suspension multi-link coil spring with anti-roll bar so very good suspension in my opinion also check out the test drive video there i talk a little bit about more i give you more information about the suspension and about the driving and about all that stuff that that relate to driving so that was all guys that was the technical data information let's go outside and let's review the car all right guys so let's start with the key as always this is the key a very simple key matte nice simple what you can do with the key of course you can lock and unlock the car sadly the car doesn't come with keyless entrance or uh, other fancy stuff like electric lift gate in the trunk so yeah you have to open it manually but the car come with electric folding mirrors and that's a great plus for the car so this is all what you can do with the key um, now i want to start the engine turn on the lights and then make a round about the car all right guys i just turn on the lights and i start the engine for for a moment so i can save the battery if the lights are on then the battery will die but anyway i want to show you the exterior of the car and i like the elements and the stuff that they 
added extra on the end line. For example, I like very much this roof spoiler that, I, that they added right here. Very nice design, very clean. I like the lines, the sharp edges, the black glossy here on the side. Also, you have the brake light and LED here. Uh, even the roof of the car look lovely with this roof rails right here in chrome and then you have the radio antenna very small very nice very fancy now let me go a little bit backwards so you can see the car i like also very much the rims guys i mean the rims on the car they fit just perfectly 18 inch rims on this uh, e30 n line station wagon estate they are they are just perfect i mean they look lovely on the car then not so many elements the only thing that you can see it's different here you will see the n line logo on the both sides so you know this is a different model than the normal uh, and then if you go in the front here are a little bit more changes so you can see the front bumper look just incredible i love it it's so aggressive and nice and uh, with those uh, turning signals lights they look incredible so they are led light also you can see immediately right here the end line logo on the grill that tell you it's a different car also on the on the front bumper you can see also the air intakes right here they are a little bit sportier and aggressive and look nice led light here as i said and also the lines and the, the way they design the front grille look really really good i like the spoiler i like it it's, it's quite aggressive here you have the hyundai logo and behind it you can see it's kind of a glass because behind it is the radar for adaptive cruise control emergency brake and all that safety feature so overall the front of the car it's beautiful i don't know i like it the only thing that i don't like here because right now i just turn on the light you can see they still use that xenon those are xenon light and halogen light it's for the uh, daylight it's just something that i wish to see quite quite different and other than that it looks lovely the design is it's very nice also the hood is nice on this side you can see a little bit better the design of the car it's quite sunny outside but you can see the lines of the car look gorgeous and the shape of the car it's it's quite nice quite sporty i like very much the mirrors they look very similar with the tucson mirrors and i like that you have led lights on the blinkers glossy black plastic nice design nice shape of the mirror you have the blind spot technology in the corner big mirrors good visibility also they are electrically adjustable the handles are simple nothing fancy no keyless entrance it's just a simple handle and also this area down here they didn't add any kind of skirt or something extra to make the car much more sportier actually it's an end line i was expect a little bit more fancy stuff and elements sporty elements but they choose to be uh, classic so not so many many elements here on the car it's just super super simple but overall around the windows here you have this uh, matte kind of rubber black rubber around the windows you have tinted windows in the back also here you have tinted windows so other than the rims that are beautiful the roof spoiler and the front bumper i don't know so many different uh, to see here until now then going forward guys here in the back you have the led lights on the on the tail lights i like them very much and also you can see it here you can see those lines they look gorgeous even the fog lamps it's gorgeous but if we go forward you will also notice that the turning signals and the reverse light are normal halogen light again something that i wish to be different you can see from uh, behind a little bit better the lights uh, i think hyundai just they really need to change those lights i want to see full led lights here then here on the number plate again we have halogen light no led lights on the number plate but that can change it very simply and then you have the reverse camera right here and overall this is the back of the car some light reflectors here and the down bumper again look a little bit sportier i should say it's not bad at all i like it with that chrome design and i also like that they have those two exhaust pipes that they look quite aggressive and then that maybe show that this is an end line and a different different model but other than that it's not a bad design guys in my opinion it's a nice design it's quite aerodynamic design also the ground clearance i notice it's relatively low and it looks quite quite nice i like it I like the car i can say it's an incredible car but i think they can still make a better car i want to see an e30 and a proper end performance that would be amazing because if you look here at this 
E30 hatchback and look at this it's just incredible I mean check this out I have already the, the video on my channel it's just incredible and I think they can also improve this one much more than it is right now now talking about the rims I have nothing to say about the rims because they are incredible I love the way they look on the car I think they fit just perfectly on the car they are super beautiful and we have 18 inch rims also Michelin tire pilot 4 they Hyundai use those on many cars ventilated brake this is in the front as I said before the inline logo here they look beautiful in the rear just the brake discs no ventilated brake discs and yeah this is it guys they look nice the rims look really nice on the car yeah overall this is the exterior I want to show you the engine bay open up the engine bay let's go in the front here it's very simple I think this we have a manual lift gate of course here it's a manual lift gate so I will hold it for you and this is the engine 1.5 liter TGDI it comes with a new smart stream G turbo petrol engine this is the array guys the air filter the battery the fuse box on the right side the liquid cooling here is the liquid for the wipers and yeah, it's pretty silent pretty good engine here you have a camera and also the sensors for raining and the light and the camera can read the traffic speed limit this is an extra cool feature now here we have an, a manual lift gate as I said before uh, pretty simple to open it up you have some handles up here and the entrance in the car it's relatively huge I love the entrance I love the trunk I know it from the first time this is a, a very practical car from the first time when I reviewed the normal E30 estate it's incredible entrance in the car it's a huge entrance you have a flat floor right here uh, you have hooks Look at these hooks you have a light here normal bulb light hooks in the corners uh, you have a 12 volt port very useful i love that then you have this protection for the trunk that you can take it out we will take it out in a second and you have also this net that you can install it uh, up there on the roof here around here if you have a dog or something so that's very useful and overall you can carry so many so many items uh, in this trunk so from this point of view it's very practical now let me show you something guys under the floor right here you still have huge storage space it's like an electric car you can see that the same shape as you have on Tesla you have here in the left in the right side plenty of space to put your stuff there and then look at this it's like a closet because here you can open this up again and then you have let me let me use my hand you have another story space here look how nice they kind of array it here I love that not many cars have that so I like the fact that you have kind of a different separate parts where you can put your stuff and I like that very very much and you have another one in the front here it's look at this a small one how cool is that man I mean so intelligent so smart so unique great job Hyundai also you can fold this down in the middle there check this out and you can have here a long items so you can carry long items like skis like wherever you want to carry it's just incredible incredible uh, practical from this point of view now anyway let me take this out let me fold down the seats and we will see how much space we have there in the front so I just take out that protection I clean up a little bit the trunk so you can see the way it looks right here relatively huge in my opinion very practical now let's go forward if you want to fold it down I have to stretch up a little bit like that and then here as well it's very long to be honest I can I don't do that so easy but after you fold it down you have a flat floor completely completely flat floor and that's awesome I mean in terms of practicality number one I mean one of the best I love the space here it's really really practical a lot of space here in the in the trunk you can carry long items fridges big items you can move yourself in other house <laughs> almost with this car the opening almost 90 degrees big entrance in the car and you can see the space one more time for this angle relatively big I don't know pretty pretty big space a lot of space here also the quality behind here is relatively good you have some storage space uh, here behind uh, the seats and also the transmission tunnel in the middle there is very small so you can you can put your things there you can sit free people without any problem I love that and yeah overall this is the space in the 
in the trunk here. Now guys, I will put everything back and then we will go inside the car. We will see the, the rest of the space. All right guys, so before we go inside here in the back, you have one big window from one pieces. And if I'm not wrong, the contact, it's not on. Let me turn it on for a second. By the way, the car doesn't come with a start engine button. It's come with a normal classic uh, key. You have to turn it. It's not a big deal. Let me see how much you can fold down the window. It's almost flat. You can see it stay here two centimeters, but it's, it's really, really good. I mean, in terms of practicality, it's perfect. Now, going on the door, I was impressed to see that even here in the back, you have soft material in this area. I didn't expect that. I expect to have plastic and that's something better than what i see in volkswagen for example latest is cars volkswagen usually on the back doors they use a lot of plastic but this time here it's kind of soft material even in this area you have soft material soft 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 rubber everywhere here and then you have the button then you have the handle then you have a handle here you have a big speaker and then you have some storage space right here so yeah overall pretty good quality uh, in this price range. The entrance in the car, quite big. Also, you can see right here, a lot, a lot of space here in the back. I will go inside and I will show you how much space I have there so you can make an idea about that. We have fabric material seats and we have this kind of signature here. You can see red with white that uh, tell you it is the N-line version. It's a little bit different, it's a little bit sportier uh, version, but other than that, it's stuff material. Here you have kind of a side support. In this area, you have plastic. Then you have also here side support, red stitches, Isofix. You can install two child seats right here without any problem. And also relatively good, comfortable. I mean, they are big enough to, to sit here. We will see in a moment. Also, you can fold down this middle part right here where you can have this armrest with two cup holders. And behind the front seats, you have some plastic, some storage space here. And in the middle, you have two vents, no USB and nothing here. That's sad. I wish it was some USB ports there. Let's go inside the car, close the door. Yeah, you hear that. The doors quality are relatively good. I like the way they sound. You hear the sound, it's good. And a lot of cars pass by. Right here is the street, a big street. And you can hear it's really silent inside here. And I like that. The visibility, it's very good. In terms of visibility, it's very, very good. Position here and comfort, it's good. Not bad at all. Space on my head, let me stay straight. Space on my head, four, five, six fingers without any problem here. On my knees, plenty of space. I'm 173 centimeters, so you can make an idea. I can stretch a little bit the legs under the front seats, just a little bit. So it's fine, it's fine. It's relatively fine for me, it's great. You can see also in the front, the seats are in normal position there. Also in my driving position is the, the driver's seats and you can see the space it's relatively good going in the middle also you have a flat floor here i like the fact that you don't have a transmission a big huge transmission tunnel so you can have your legs somehow together there and up here five fingers almost six fingers i guess on my knees look at this four five four five stretch my hand almost completely and here completely. So free people can sit here without any problem, in my opinion, if they are not very, very big. But overall, it's quite, quite good. Also the quality on the roof, it's relatively good. Up here you have a normal bulb light. Yeah, handles, hooks in the corners. Also you can install the net here if you want to. And also you can install it here, the net that you see it before that I show you. Quite nice. Anyway, we will go in the front, guys. We will talk a little bit about multimedia, about the things in the front right there. But overall, I like the simplicity of the dashboard. It's unique, it's nice, it's simple. Uh, and also it comes with this new multimedia system from Hyundai that it's lovely. Anyway. Let's go in the front. All right, guys, now let's go forward here in the front as well. A big piece window, not split in two, so you have good visibility in the mirrors. The same soft material quality on the upper side right here. Soft material in this area right here as well. So very, very good quality. Handle in chrome, then you have the buttons right here, electric buttons for the windows, electric adjustable mirrors, and then a lot of storage space right here in the door bands, a big speaker and a light reflector. So overall, it's quite relatively good uh, in terms of uh, quality in this price range. Going inside, big entrance right here. 
and now I want to show you the seats guys the, those are the N line seats stuff material they look good right I like them I like the design I like the way they look I like uh, the size of them because they are quite relatively big even down here soft and nice uh, also you can extend this area in the middle you have to adjust it manually by the way it has manual adjustments you have the red stitches right here the N logo look nice here and you have also kind of signature so overall they are nice and they are also so comfy because I drive the car they are super comfy I, I have to tell you that now going forward in this area guys you have the buttons for traction control you have the start stop engine button you have the light the brightness of the screen and then the position of the lights you can adjust it from here then up here you have a vent that feel good as you touch it quite good quality I was surprised to feel it it's quite smooth then soft material all over the dash on the upper side here stuff soft material very nice let me go inside the car then going inside the car going a little bit backward the visibility around the windows it's very good as i told you before it's a big window so you have a great visibility in the mirrors great visibility on the windshield and also good visibility on this mirror up here so in the back you can see the visibility around the windows let's go forward also relatively good you you almost have no blind spot in the back there so it's a great great visibility now in the middle you have this armrest that you can adjust it it's in leather same red stitches big space here with the 12 volt port right there i think you can see it yeah relatively useful some storage space for the key then you have the uh, electric handbrake and auto hold two cup holders this center console is made by plastic that's something to keep in mind but it's not glossy so nobody can complain about the fingerprints and then you have the heated seats for you and the passenger you have the different driving modes for example here you have the echo normal and sport you can choose different driving modes. we will talk about that in the test drive and then here on the right side you have the um, parking sensors and then you have the camera so you have a reverse camera on the car I don't know why it's not working but if you go in reverse you can see it the camera it's relatively good it's not the best quality not the best resolution but it's good not as good as on Tucson or Santa Fe but it's okay now this is the transmission stick I should say it's N it's with red insertion it looks a little bit sportier and different that's connected with a seven speed dual clutch DCT then you have some storage space here for your phone no wireless charging so don't expect that but you have a an usb port 2 and a 12 volt port right there so very useful better than nothing and then here you have a lot of space and the light i mean it's it's really relatively big uh, the space right there so overall here you have plastic and here you have soft this kind of a rubber um, design then I like very much this climatic system from Hyundai it's very simple to use you have physical buttons down here so you can turn it on and off very simple from from here and the temperature as well it's just awesome I mean I like it very much simple to use and also you have this digital small screen right there here you can lock the car you have the vents even here also i like how how nice the vents are i mean they are they feel so nice you hear nothing just a little bit left right but up down phew, it's so smooth so good quality blinkers nice integrated multimedia it's perfect i mean from this angle you have a good visibility then of course you have this cockpit this cockpit was uh, out before the new cockpit from Santa Fe and Tucson and Ionic 5 was coming out and it's relatively good because on the right and left side you have those information about the gas and RPM but in the middle you have a lot of information about uh, the car and you have a digital screen right there and it's quite nice it's not bad it's not bad at all good resolution good brightness and good visibility from this angle the steering wheel i like it i love the steering wheel it's the n steering wheel you have the n logo you have the red stitches you have that leather uh high quality material you can see a close up here the way it looks is just crazy and i love it i love the grip of it i love how easy it is you have some pedals to change the gear manual if you want to here behind the steering wheel then you have the controls for the voice for the radio and telephone and then you have the controls for the cruise control and lane assist and 
uh, different driving modes you can see it also on the screen right there and what can i say guys also you can adjust the steering wheel up down forward backward the way you want to and you can fix it like that simple the key no start stop engine button you have to use the key on this model and if i go forward i love the multimedia it's one of my favorite thing in this car you can extend this part here or you can have it all over the screen the multimedia or you can extend it like that but it's awesome i mean it's it's one of the best multimedia great colors great big huge screen you have some kind of shortcut buttons right here i have a separate video with this multimedia system if you want to see it check it out on my channel there i go in more detail but you can go in very very simple in all the settings of the car from here it's incredible easy uh, to change the things you can change the language you can choose whatever language you want there's so many languages uh, that you can use to on this uh, car and then you can go in menu for example let me show you the, the map you already see it before the map i find it one of the best uh, these days on the market it worked really fast you have also that sound of nature radio navigation media android auto apple carplay by the way i have a separate video how to connect it so check it out on my channel climatic system you can access it from there you have also the settings here for the vehicle settings of the car phone projection driver assistance systems you can activate deactivate them from here it's just so complex and you can go in so many details here also i have another video so there you can find out more about that instrument cluster climatic system lights doors convenience it's so deep i mean it's so so deep guys the cruise control the warning timing look at this so many details you can change it from there and yeah i don't want to make this video too long but keep in mind you have these options to see the multimedia system on my channel there it's very similar and i go in every single detail but keep in mind it's 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 a great great multimedia system in my opinion great brightness and very responsive good up here i like very much that they have this glass support let me see it uh, it's not so good because of the light but you have the glasses support not many cars these days still use it i see it on the volkswagen polo i think uh, and then you have normal bulb light no led sos button and here you have a huge mirror with some light normal bulb light so yeah that's it i think this is all guys i think i show you almost everything close the car and that was the review guys with this new hyundai e30 uh, n-line estate station wagon combi i don't know why they have so many names i don't know how how can i call it anyway guys i hope you enjoyed the video i hope you get some useful information from it i hope i didn't miss something yes i missed something i forget to show you the pedals uh the car come with aluminum pedals and they look lovely look at this oh man lovely pedals i love it really lovely that was the video thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe like and share that will mean a lot for me guys if you want to see the test drive with the same car will come soon on the channel just subscribe to see the notification my rating for this car from 1 to 10 will be taking into consideration price space quality multimedia the seats are great i think i will give it a 9.5 six because i wish the exterior design it's an end line okay and an end line i wish the exterior design to be a little bit more aggressive maybe a little bit of skirts on the side maybe a little bit more leds but it's not bad not bad 9.6 it's a great great rating and guys if you want to see more about car industry videos news tips you find out on my website sdadancar.com if you want to buy this car if you are in switzerland around switzerland i will leave the link in the description to parisi automobile in gelafingen you can check them out tell them you see my video you come from me you will get a nice discount also thank you very much for watching my video i really appreciate that guys i mean it meant a lot for me stay safe and i guess i see you soon in the next one bye guys Thank you.